Welcome back to another session of how to do things in Excel. We're going to be looking at arguably one of the most important features and most intriguing features that we have. And that's our team scheduling, also is known as resource management. This allows you to really forecast your resources so that you can take on new projects. Being able to see not only in days, weeks, but months in advance. The way we find that is simply on the top bar here going over to schedule and clicking on team scheduling. On the right here, we'll have colleagues calendars. On the left, we have a list of tasks. What we're gonna do is filter out this list so that we're gonna pull the group of staff so we can see everything. Now we're in the days so we just have one week. Let's go into weeks and start forecasting a little bit. To get a little more insight on their week, we can simply click on that and be able to see Monday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, what each person has. On the left, we're able to search for tasks up here or filter them out. We can click to projects and go project by project, tickets, sales, and finally periods, which would be your retainer contract work. For this, what we're going to do is click show tasks and you'll be able to see it. Now what's really important is actually assigning out the work. So now we know how to filter out the work. We also see their calendars, but now we got to give them that actual work. So what I'm going to do is take this vision and sign off and give it to Gabrielle Ellis from the 14th, 20th. I can commit time, which means you can put in three hours in a day, but not necessarily specific to what exactly, what hours they have to work on it. Scheduling time would be that you can you please work on this from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. Reassigning the task since this task is already assigned to someone it will remove it from that other person's task list and put it on Gabriel's task Or we can split the task That means both people will be in control of the task And it's as simple as that 